Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and in this one, we're going to be talking about something that was actually inspired by Dodash. She has a video out that that says if you're um if you're over 50, it's something along the lines that if you're over 50, you should be on YouTube. So I wanted to kind of piggyback off that, you know, show some respect to her topic, her um thoughts on that, and just share some of my own. I feel like that we live in a generation of distractions. We live in a generation where people aren't giving real information, letting you know that you're not financially literate. It don't matter how long you've been working. It don't like most of what you have been taught about how money works and the world works. It's not right. It's not true, but it's designed in that way. So you can be distracted. You like, because if you're working to pay them bills, keep the lights on, take care of your children. And you know, if you're working hard to accomplish the things that you have to accomplish just to live every day, you don't have no time to be thinking about being woke. You don't have no time to be, you know, really being undistracted. So I feel like a lot of older people and a lot of people they start to get wise. Like they, they start to live a certain life and be like, you know what? I've been living this life for so long. And then it's so much wisdom there, so much knowledge there, so much information that the current youth is actually lacking. What the youth is watching is is, is kids like I Show Speed, Kai Sinai, and nothing wrong with them. I actually I actually love what they do because they're not, they, they, they don't do anything of value, but when they actually speak, and motivate people and inspire people and stuff like that. It is very valuable, powerful, and impactful. So I like that. But overall, they just entertain. They have fun. They do crazy stuff. That's what they do. But they seem to be genuinely just good guys, good kids. You know. So um, I do, I do um, like that. But what I think is missing from the internet as a whole is the older generation. Is the wisdom like no one is saying anything wise anymore? What we have these days is these wannabe gurus and 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 smart people out here saying memeable stuff, or not not even memeable. What's the term? Um, like you know, relatable stuff. They say things that's relatable, like like if they can't see your vision, kick them out of your life. You have no time for that. You have one life to live. Like like just a whole bunch of. You don't always just got to kick people out of your life, you know, like it's, it, people are not that replaceable just because you have social media and the Internet where you can touch millions of people very fast. So you can click, you can hit a dating app and find someone new to replace the last person you was dating. It's like people think that people are so replaceable and people think that, you know, people are so unimportant now because there's always going to be more people. There's always going to be more people, but that doesn't mean that those people are going to always be the people for you. The people for you, you could have, you genuinely could have kicked out of your life. You genuinely could have ban abandoned them. You genuinely could have betrayed them. And you may never find your people again because you lost the ones that God sent you. That That is that is possible. It can be a million or a billion or, or, or a trillion people in the world. If those people are not for you and that's not what God had planned for you. And when God sent you certain people. You kicked them out of your life and you treated them a certain way and stuff like that. And now you've lost those people. You can have no choice but to repair those relationships or live a life lesser than you would have lived if those were the people that was meant for you. So I feel like there needs to be more wisdom spread. And I feel like that genuinely comes from older people. Younger people are too caught up in themselves, caught up in trying to be Kai Sinat, trying to be Speed, trying to be these other influencers who's flexing money and doing all this stuff on, on social media. And I feel like there, there needs to be more people actually spreading the things that matter, like the wisdom about finances. It's a lot of, it's a lot of people who didn't have to flex on YouTube or blow up on social media and has accomplished a, a great amount of wealth, a great amount of, you know, money and things like that. People don't know what it's like to, you know, cut grasses and mow lawns. And people don't know that there's a lot of millionaires who do that. People, because it's not flashy. You don't see these millionaires getting on social media because they don't have time to get on social media doing this stuff. They have to actually go out, cut grass or run a business. But there's so many other ways to live the lifestyle that these influencers live. But a lot of the older, older generation will never flaunt it or will never show it. They don't show that they could be living like that when they have the capabilities of living like that, they do something wiser with it because they have more wisdom. And that's what I think this generation needs. To, it needs to be woken up to the fact that, you know, I feel like we need people who have lived more to say more. 
because you've learned so much over the time that you've lived. No matter how big or small you think what you what you know and what you have to offer is, no matter how big or small it is, it is valuable. It's valuable to someone. It's not going to be valuable to everyone. And that's the thing about YouTube and social media. You're not supposed to be valuable to everyone. As many people as possible is not supposed, or as many people as possible maybe, but everyone is not supposed to like you because some personalities just completely clash. Like it's some people who are just up, not obnoxious and loud at all times or something like that. And it's like, you know, that can, for me, I'm more of a quiet, chill, laid back person. Like I could spend a day with you. I will love it. I'll have a great time. It, you'll be loud. You'll be, I'll be rolling, man. But day two, bro, chill out. Day three, shut up. Day, a weekend, get away from me, bro. Like <laughs> I can't do it. Like at a certain point, it's like, no, 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 no. I need my peace. I need my quiet. I need to chill. Like I can handle that in some small doses. But I have to have time to myself, time to think, time to be in my spirituality, time to, you know, focus on my goals and aspirations and stuff. Like, it can't just be a loud fest, music blasting all the time, all this type of stuff. It, You know, so everyone is not meant to be like and be around everyone all the time. Just like certain content like this, where you have a certain pace, where you're just talking, where you're just trying to express what's on your mind and what's in your heart. This isn't for everyone. This isn't for a, a Mr. Beast fan base to to who wants to edit every few seconds, who wants to, you know, feel like feel like they're going through a movie experience and distract themselves from stuff that's going on in real life. Like this type of content is more so for people who aren't trying to run from the things that they're distracted from in real life, but people who are trying to solve it and trying to, you know, get solutions and understand that I'm in a situation right now that so many people throughout history have been in and they made it out. I can make it out too, but how do I do that? And that that's what this is about. The people who want to find the answers, who want to, you know, face their problems head on and, and start to, you know, start to, start to develop themselves more and, and become that person who is going to, you know, take action and change their lives and accomplish all the things that they want to accomplish in this world. I feel like I feel like that's the type of content that I make. That's what I'm focused on. And that's the energy that I'm putting out. And I feel like that's the energy that's going to more so likely be attracted to me. Um, obviously, I have other channels. I'm still a content creator. I have different modes. So one day you may see me on the game cursing out some people. But overall, outside of getting in gamer mode, trash talking, which is what I'm used to doing. Because when I grew up, that's what it was. Like nowadays, you can get banned in the game. You can get like they they turn off your voice chat, all type of soft stuff, in my opinion. But hey, at the end of the day, um, overall, who I am is just a hardworking individual who wants to see everybody be successful because it's more than enough success out here for everyone. So yeah, that being said, um, let me know what you all think. Let me know how you all feel about that in the comment section down below. Let me know what some of your goals and aspirations and some of the stuff that you you have been putting off, but you know you need to get on it and that you know that you're capable of doing it if you just really put your all into it. Or or maybe you may have some doubts. Maybe you're not that sure of yourself. But let me let me know. Like and and because I want people in the comment section to see what everybody else is going through. So the ones who have been there, done that, can talk to one another and let each other know, yo, I, I felt that same way. And now I am here. It's like it's so much. Something as simple as that. Everybody doubts themselves when they get started, but they don't know that a hundred other people doubted themselves, but eventually something motivated them to get started and then they got it done. It's like people, like, I want people here who can help people become better people. You know, that, that's what it's all about, helping one another. Like, life is about the amount of people that you can help and impact. And I feel like, it's important that that at a certain point we we all come together and at least try our best to help one another. Like we, it, you don't got to do too much. Everything don't have to be some you know big movement meet up at some event and stuff. Like just as simple as a comment on somebody's post, letting them know, yo, I've been where you, I've been where you at right now. Keep going, stay the course, and you'll make it out. Like that's what happened to me. Like something like that is just so can be so inspiring to someone going through a tough time. And I feel like that's why the, the older generation needs to be on YouTube because so many, like what people are, are upset about or scared about these days, so many of the older generation has been there and they've been past that years ago that you all could really, 
you know, say to people, oh, that's, you know, that, that, that's easy. That's, that's going to pass easily. Like, like it's people out here, you, you know, struggling with their first heartbreak. We all know that one comes. We all, we all know that that happens. So it's like the, the older generation can bring a lot of wisdom and, and just everyone has a lot of wisdom to bring, but it definitely is an important thing that the older people, that older people get on, on, you know, on, on this platform. But that being said, man, let me know what you all think. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.